My name's Karen Staley. I've met many of you already, um, APSEC EU and some regional events, but I just wanted to reintroduce myself. I was hired last November to be your new executive director, and I say it's an honor. It's been 10 months, 11 months since uh, I've been serving you and working with you, and it's just been really wonderful to get to know the community. I'm not the only one that serves you. Many of you know a lot of these people up here on the screen, but we have a great staff. We have Matt Tassaro, who's our Director of Community and Operations. We have Harold Blankenship, who's running all the projects and helping us a lot with our technology and tools. Kelly Santa Lucia, many of you know, she's our Sponsorship Membership person. Dawn Aiken, she has moved into a community support role, uh, helping all the chapters. And then Lisa Jones just came on board on the 1st of October to support us with uh, sponsorships and projects as well. So uh, just wanted to let you know the team that sits in the office and uh, looks at your emails and responds to your phone calls. And we are happy to serve you. We like serving you. We want to help you. So um, be patient with us if things don't go the way you think they should. We're working really hard to make them right for you. We also have a wonderful board that will be switching out very soon. We have our chairman of the board, Martin Knobloch. We have Chensi Wang, who's also here. She'll be speaking tomorrow. Andrew Vanderstock, many of you saw his tweet last night. He has stepped down from Treasure and is now replaced with Sharif Mansour. We have Greg Anderson, who can't be here this week, but we're happy that he's, he's with us in thought. We have Matt Conda here. And we have Owen Pendleberry as well. So if you see any of the board members walking around through the exhibit area, or many of them are seated here in this room, please stop by and say hi. We want to get to know you. We want to build our community. And we want you to know who's serving you on the board level. Just a reminder, we are going into this week uh, with voting for your new board members. We have three slots to fill. So just a reminder, vote, vote, vote. This is your foundation. This is your community. Your vote is the way that you influence what happens to the foundation. Um, we also want you to come by, if you're a member, to the Empire Lounge room where Kelly is seated. She has gifts for all of the members. And if you're not a member, please join. We'd love to have you join the community. It's $50 for individuals. It's a great opportunity to support the foundation, many of the projects that we do, a lot of the things that you use. Um, we'd love to have your donation as membership. You get an OWASP email and you get, of course, all, always um, reduced fees for our AppSec events. So stop by, find out more about the foundation, see how you can contribute. It's the Empire Lounge. If you walk straight out here, make a right. Um, it's right there. We'd love to have you as a member. And those of you who are out here and are members, thank you very much for supporting the foundation. So membership. Is, is the community, and the community is what drives this event. And so I'm going to now introduce to you my partner in crime, Travis McPeak, who is uh, the chapter leader for the Bay Area chapter. And without him and his phenomenal team, we would not be here today. So let's give Travis and his team a great round of applause. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Hello, everybody. This is an awesome room. I'm really happy to be here. I'm very excited for Michael's talk. I do want to uh, take a few minutes just to talk very briefly about why I'm excited about OWASP, and I think you should be too. OWASP provides a lot of value, and one of the biggest values that I get out of it is networking. Every time I go to an OWASP event, I meet really awesome people, and a lot of those people end up being friends, and that friendship continues over the years. I think it's a great way to come together as security professionals and really do cool work. So the networking part is always very exciting to me, and it's basically just hang out, meet some people, you know, have pizza, beer, whatever, and uh, cool talks. So it's, it's always fun for me. Uh, we have meetups. We've had nine this year, and we are very fortunate to have some of the best companies in the Bay Area hosting us, some of the best security talent giving talks. If you've not checked them out, please do. We also have Hacker Thursday events. So that's a different kind of meetup where we will have hands-on, two and a half hours or so of uh, instructor-led training, and you can basically go with little or zero knowledge and pick up a new skill. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, we run them very frequently. Prashant, uh, I'm not sure if he's here, but he's been running them, and he's done a great job of getting these off the ground. So huge shout out to Prashant. And we also have special events. This is from Day of Security, which is a special event that we sponsored in uh, summer this year, uh, June. And it is to promote women in security. 
you know, we have this field, we have a ton of work to do, and right now we don't have the talent to meet that need. And the only way we can get there is by getting people that haven't been in our field and contributing, such as women. We have nowhere near the amount of women in this field that we need. And Day of Security was a really cool event where they basically got experts together and had a great talks and a networking event for all these women to come together, understand why this field is so important, why it's so fun, and hopefully encourage them to join. Also, I mean, swag. It's basically about swag, right? Like, it's just a big pile of stickers at the end of the day. So uh, we have tons of swag. I'm sure you'll find some. If you see Prashant, he can give you these really cool Hacker Thursday stickers. Speaking of women, thank you so much to the companies that sponsored our diversity scholarship winners. We have 30 women today at this conference that would not be here if it weren't for these awesome companies listed. Thank you so much to Apple, Uber, Netflix, and Salesforce for providing these opportunities. And thank you to my team. This was a ton of work. AppSec USA, you know, the foundation did a lot of work, but there was a lot of work that had to come in from the Bay Area, and I had an awesome team to help me. Christian De Hoyos, Will Bankson, Wendy Zanoni, and Asa Singal have all contributed immensely, so if you see them, please stop them in the hallway and give them a big thanks.